Hello my budgeting babes, this is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel Dee Plans and Budgets. It is time for the weekly recap and yes, I usually post those on Monday. I have a good reason that I didn't post it. First reason was I put my 400 subscriber giveaway on Monday and then I wanted to get my cash stuffing in the wild up on Tuesday and in addition, I was waiting for one more package to get here so I could do an unboxing with you since this was an extra week in the month and I didn't have any more of my extra little cash stuffings that I usually do on my recap day. So I didn't want to just put the recap on there. Let's get started. She's so pretty. All right. And I'm going to move this stuff aside for now and we can just go to this real quick super simple i didn't spend a ton last week matter of fact i had one two three no spend days so on monday i ordered some uh, liquid blush and some envelopes some of the zipperless cash binder um, envelopes jenny from simply living saves recommended those and i am so glad i got them they were awesome i paid for my campsite for the weekend that was three nights at 57 dollars I actually was sharing a cabin, a camping cabin with three other ladies. However, I just camped in my van outside of the cabin. It had, it had a power pole and everything. I bought mats for my van and my house at Ikea. Ikea has the little, I don't know, they're like a cotton. They're washable. I wanted small mats in my van that I could layer and would be washable while I was on the road. And I also needed more of those for my house because I use them at my doors. I love that I can throw them in the washer and not have to do like carpet cleaning and stuff with them. I bought a plant to put on a grave. I bought something to float on the river while I was camping this weekend. Or if I didn't float, there were too many neat people just to sit around and talk to. And I spent $45.80 on food. On Thursday, I had a no spend. I was packing and preparing. I had already done all my prep for the trip on, on or before Thursday. On the way out of town, I bought gas for $44.34. And I paid for parking for my car for three days while at the campground. I have noticed that I am going to have to probably change the way I do my gas now that I have just the one vehicle because formerly I had gas that I would use just for running around town and then on travel, on my monthly travel category, the biggest reason I had that was for gas because that gas always stayed in that vehicle. But... It's all in one vehicle now. So I spent $44.34 and I just split it up, but all of that wasn't for the trip. The, the place was only 75 miles from my house. So that was like maybe a quarter of a tank of gas. Anyhow, I'll figure that out, but that was an interesting, interesting thing that came up. So for the total for the month, I spent $225.67. All right, that is what I spent. The first thing I got was from Liz and Les, and I already had the corn dog challenge from her. However, when she put these out, I had to order them. One is going to be for the shop small, and the other is just going to be for me because I just wanted it. And I bought the little sticker to go on the envelope in my shop small, and that will just mean that those are my Liz and Les uh, savings challenges. Because as creative as that girl is, I am sure that I'm probably always going to have a Liz and Less Savings Challenge in my binder. If not, well, this could be for a drinking challenge. It could be for an outdoor challenge. It could be for a traveling challenge because there's Bucky's in Texas. So I just thought this would be really cute to put on the envelope. And the things that I got from her were the beaver challenge because drinking beavers, I mean, come on. Right, so you get to make your own scene with these, and then each beaver has a dollar value. You take the beaver out and you put it on a scene. I mean, come on, who doesn't need drinking beavers? And then, and then, I mean, she did surfing sloths. Okay, really, again, 
who doesn't need a surfing sloth in their life, right? I don't know about you, but I need a surfing sloth in my life. And with these, you put them on the waves. They're catching the waves. I wonder if she prints on photo paper. I like I like what these are done on. I think they're sticker paper. Either way, I really like how these are done. One thing I'm going to show you, just a second, I'll be right back. I have every intention when these are done the first time to go back through with a Sharpie after I've made my scenes. I will either place one of these round stickers on them on the scene like this, or I can cut I, I use these square ones and I cut them in half and I'm going to put those on there. I will just Sharpie in a denomination that I want on there. And that means that I can reuse these challenges twice. I know one thing that Liz and I agree on is that overspending to save money kind of defeats the purpose. So she keeps her things really affordable, which is why I support her shop, number one. And number two, I knew I would be able to reuse these, right? And that is super important because I'm gonna be able to get two challenges out of this for my money. And I mean, they're so cute. I could look at them for months to come. So I do plan to do multiple uses out of these. Oh my gosh. They're just so cute. All right. So that was the ones from Liz and Les. Next, I had to get something from my girl Tracy over there at Golden Girl Budget. She is so supportive of my channel. And, oh, I got a freebie, little ice cream thing I can make. And, I mean, she did savings challenges with food. Who doesn't want Tacos, cherries, burgers, popcorns. I mean, I like all of these things, right? And she also did savings challenges with ice cream. And so I will punch holes in these and I can put them in my shop small. And these are perfect little shop small savings challenges. Again, these are at, from Tracy at Golden Girl Budgets and they are just so incredibly cute. I hear through the grapevine that these are a very rewarding scratch too. So I am really looking forward to doing a scratch. These are both $100 savings challenges, perfect amounts for my shop small. And the next two things I got are from Kimberly over there at All Things Kimberly. Oh, look how nice she wrapped it up. All right, so I got two things from her and this was actually a pretty big expense for me, but Kimberly's another one that's been super supportive of my channel, so I wanted to support her in her Etsy shop. And then also, I have just been really wanting to do some gnome things, and this is the Wandering Gnome. So it's traveled theme, and it's gnome themed, and it's a scratch off, and the first page is a cruise ship. Could this be any more me, All right? I don't think so. Again. I will be using this book multiple times. As I scratch it off, I can place scratchers back over top of it. Before I do that, I could write in a new number if I want, or chances are pretty darn good, I won't remember what the numbers were anyhow, so I can place scratch, uh, scratch off stickers right back on top of these, and I can totally make it work to get more than one savings. We got a gnome at the beach, we got a gnome surfing, we got a gnome in the palm trees. I mean, this is just all things cruising, right? But then we get a gnome at the Japanese gardens and at the big red barn and in the forest at a campfire in the mountains. I think this is Old Faithful, Yellowstone, and skiing, right? So even though this book was fairly expensive, this was completely worth the money because there are so many challenges in it. And it looks like, I hadn't even opened this yet, so it looks like she included, fantastic, yay, nice note from Kimberly. Looks like she included a couple extra things here. And, ooh, so some little unicorn bucks, which would be like a placeholder, I'm pretty sure. I love that there is a 
dashboard for this because I may save for this in my D binder and then transfer it when it's when different things are done and scratch off. I haven't decided yet. And who doesn't need an extra big A5 envelope? I'm always needing those. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for those extras. I know that I will use them. Again, these were a pretty expensive buy. Actually, very reasonable price for what they are because, I mean, they're two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve scratch-offs. And I think they were about $20, some, $28 each. For what they are, I felt they were a very, very good value for the amount that you get. And of course, like I said, I've been wanting some more scratcher savings challenges. These are reusable because they're laminated. Just made sense to me. And I just love that it starts with a cruise ship. I mean, come on. I also really like that she includes one of these envelopes in there, which means you can keep your money right in this binder if you want to. Okay. The next thing I got from All Things Kimberly, and I got this specifically because I have a plan for it, and it's going to include you and me and saving for a vacation. And that is this, a penny a day keeps debt away. So... You could use this if you wanted to, to pay off a debt. However, I don't want you to go into debt for vacation. So this savings challenge saves $667.95. I am going to be making an additional little thing. That she's got this dashboard in there, but I'm going to be making an additional little Thing. Either I'll stick here or I'll put in here, and it's going to constitute another $120 because together we are going to save in very low amounts. We're going to save for a cruise. I cruise extremely cost effectively. Now, there are a couple disclaimers. This savings for the cruise will not include airfare. So if you do not live near a cruise port, you would have to save additional for airfare. However, you might have miles for that, or you might have credit card points for that. You know, I, I of course, can't take care of everyone, but if you live near a cruise port, this will be able to save you enough for a cruise. It will be in the cheapest cabin, on the ship and they're always based on double occupancy so you're going to need to find someone else who's going to go with you and maybe they're going to do this challenge as well you do not need to buy this savings challenge to do with me all you'll need to do is just get an a5 or a6 whatever size envelope that you need and we will do extremely low amounts my plan for this is to save about $10 per week for 18 months. It'll be a little bit less than that. If you do not have $10 per week to save, you could save half of that. Let's say you want to save for two people to cruise, you could save double that. We need about $45 per month in order to have enough money saved for 18 months. If you are super excited about maybe doing this challenge with me, but you think that's too much money and you'd like to take longer, the total amount I need is $800. So if we did it in 24 months, that would only be $33 a month. Maybe people want to take two years to save for a cruise. Please let me know in the comments if you're super excited about doing this with me. I am going to be doing it with the excess cash. I finished that box that I was taking to the Pacific Northwest and so now I'm going to be using the cash that I was putting in there. I'm going to be using it for here. I'm not going to do it by month. I'm going to do it by amounts. So if I have seven dollars maybe I'll take the 334 and then try to find the 166 that goes with it. 
right? Because each day has a number by the number of the day. And then color those in. Again, these are reusable. When I'm done, I can just alcohol marker them off. So even though they're marked for the months, I'm not doing these month by month. As everyone knows, these get pretty high. You know, by December, you'd need $108. Anyhow, I thought this would be a fun way for us to save some money together. I have not decided if I am going to try to start this on the road. I might and just use prop money until I get back because I won't have cash with me on the road. Or I might wait until September when I get back for this. So I have not decided on these two if I'm going to start these now or if I'm going to start these later. But I had money in my YouTube savings challenge to spend and support small businesses. And this is how I decided to do it this week. So these were from All Things Kimberly. These wonderful, adorable scratch-offs from Tracy over at Golden Girl Budget. And those sloths and beavers from Liz and Les. I hope that every one of you has an amazing rest of your week and I'm really excited to see who is ready to maybe try to save with me for a vacation and how we might be able to change it up to better meet the needs of the people who would like to save with me. Have a wonderful day you guys. Bye.